this is part two of my three-part video blog in which I show you what it's like to be in my shoes. I am an ESL or ELL English language learner teacher. So if you've ever wanted to be a teacher or know what it's like to be one, make sure you watch part one. Definitely stay tuned for part two. And there is a part three. And of course, make sure that you are following my channel and please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. And leave me comments. This is what my classroom looks like. Oh, there's the bell. Yes, that's Darth Vader back there. Now, remember, I'm an ESL teacher. If you don't know what that means, that stands for English as a Second Language or ELL teacher, English uh, English language learners teacher, ELL. Mm -hmm. um, I have a 13th desk in this little tiny room. And the truth is, I'm supposed to be servicing these students in small groups, maybe five or six. No, I have 13. And the number keeps increasing because we keep getting new students in every day. Now it's time for the morning announcements. As you can hear, every morning announcements are made around this time by staff and students. This month we're celebrating Women's History Month. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. As you can see, I wrote myself some notes for today, which I will be, uh, of the things that I'm doing with my students because I like to keep track that way. And my computer is set up. Everything is set up. Let me go throw out this garbage and that. And I'm ready to start my day. Here is the learning intention and success criteria for the work that's posted on the bulletin board, as well as the standards. When you make a bulletin board, when you put up things on your bulletin boards outside your classrooms, do you also have to do that? Because with us, it's a requirement. Now my students are coming into the classroom. They're all coming in. As you can see, they're always very nice and orderly. This is one of my favorite groups, but don't tell anybody. Yes, they keep coming in. They're amazing. This is my next group. They're all excited to be here. So am I. Now it's time for my next group, and here they come. Come on, everybody. Time for ESL class. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, this is one of my biggest classes. They are so good though. Look, it's like nonstop. <sighs> so my students left already, my third group of the morning, and I was about to sit here and have a very quick lunch because our lunch is only 30 minutes when I received a surprise from a teacher who's not even here. He is away on sick leave, but listen, you know, teachers love surprises. Let me show you what he sent me. Look at this. Oh, this is so heavenly. Do you know what a pie bowl is? Oh, this is delicious. So this is made out of delicious fruit, and then the base is made fresh from coconut milk and fruit. And besides that, he also sent me a lemonade. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna say his name to embarrass him, but this is the best lunch. I mentioned that we don't have any stores around here. There's really no restaurants. You know, we're, we're stuck here without being really able to go out to eat. At least the teachers are because we only have 30 minutes. So when something like this happens so unexpected, I am so happy. This will definitely compliment that sandwich that I brought because really what else can I bring no microwave no refrigerators no nothing now I'm having my lunch at my desk having this little sandwich and this delicious lemonade and of course I'm not gonna have time to eat that pliable um but if you don't know what a pliable is you'll see it when I eat it I'm gonna eat it probably later on when I have a prep if I have a prep. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that noise in the background, but those are our students going to lunch. This is what um, I have to deal with every day between the hours of 11 and 1.15, whenever the students come down. Because since my room is in the basement, they are extremely noisy. But now, onto this. While I'm on lunch, I like to watch videos on YouTube, and this is one of my favorite creators on YouTube. This is designed with Canva. And today I'm watching one of their new videos and enjoying it while I have my little lunch. 
So now it is time for me to start my afternoon. Okay, lunch is over. I've had three classes, lunch. Now I'm starting my afternoon session. When I say that lunch is over, our lunch is over at 11.30. So it's technically still morning. It is now time for the afternoon groups to start, starting with this group. So they're all coming in now. Hello. Let's go, everybody. Good afternoon, Good afternoon everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. They Good keep afternoon. coming. There they go. All right. This is my next group in the afternoon, and they're coming in now. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi, hello. 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 Hi. As you can tell, hello. this is a very big hello. group. Hello. 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 So it is now. One, well, it was 1.15 when my last group uh, was taken back to their classroom. And now um, I can come and sit down. It is 1.35. We have what is called a preparation period, a prep. During this time, we either have grade level meetings, um, uh, PLC meetings, or if we don't have any of that going on, then we could actually sit at our desk grade papers, you know, go online, do lesson planning. So today I don't have any meetings. Instead, I'm gonna go online and grade some papers and also grade some actual physical papers. And of course, I'm not gonna show you that because of, you know, students. I'm so excited. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you watch part three, the finale.